Whether you've been using Procreate for some time now or you just picked it up, these seven tips I'm gonna share with you today are gonna to take your skills to a whole nother level. If not that, they'll save you a little bit of time. Anyway, let's get started. Number one, adjusting a threshold when filling an object. So let's say we've drawn a shape with a brush that has quite a bit of texture, like the old 6B pencil. You've gone to fill the shape and it's leaked out the shape all over your canvas, all over the desk. Oh, it's all a bit of a nightmare, but fear not. Go through the same process of dragging and drop, but don't lift your pen off the screen. Instead, drag it to the left until you can just about see your shape and let go. Now, next time you go to fill another object of the similar texture, you will remember those settings. Number two, moving the brush opacity toolbar up and down. If you've ever checked out the preferences panel in Procreate, you realize you can move the brush opacity sliders from the right hand side to the left hand side. But having it in the center sometimes is a bit awkward. So if you slide from the outside in where the eyedropper tool is, you can move it to the bottom or the top of the screen. Number three, quick hide show all layers. Open up the layers panel and hold your finger down on the visibility tick box of the layer you don't want to hide. It will hide every other layer, helping you to focus on just this one element, which is really useful for a busy piece. To bring it back, open up the layers panel and hold your finger down that tick box again. Number four, duplicate multiple layers. The old way of duplicating multiple layers would consist of you selecting the layers you want to duplicate, grouping those layers, duplicating that group, and then ungrouping those layers. Instead, select the layers, hold down your finger and drag and drop them onto the canvas. And this will make a copy of your original layers at the top of your layers panel. Number five, copy multiple layers to another document. It's easy just to copy one layer from one document to another, but what about multiple layers? To do this, select all the layers you wanna copy, hold down and drag them over your canvas. Don't let go though. Click on the gallery button, click on the document you wanna copy them to and just let go. All those layers will appear at the top of your layers panel. Number six, reference layers. You may have seen the word reference if you've ever clicked on the thumbnail of any of these layers and this list of options that come up. It's a really powerful tool and I'm just gonna explain why. See this letter T here, this black outline? I wanna fill it with a color, but I don't want it to be filled on the same layer as the black outline. In case I change my mind in the future about the black outline, I wanna change that or I wanna change the colors inside it. So what you can do, open up your layers panel, click on the outline, select reference, create a new layer just below it, and everything I fill on the new layer just below it will be restricted to the one above it. It will reference the one above it. So now if I drag and drop onto the T, as you can see, it didn't spill over into the rest of the canvas, it just took the information from the layer above. I can now select another color and fill some of the rest of the parts. And it just gives me options in the future, because I can now turn off the black layer or I can turn off the color layer. And finally, number seven, the main benefit of connecting your iPad to an external monitor. This is a great tip if you have a monitor you can plug your iPad into. If you have an old iPad, you'll need an adapter, but the latest ones you can use a USB-C lead or a USB to HDMI lead like I'm using here. By default, it will mirror whatever is on the iPad. If you go into preferences tab under settings, you can turn on project canvas, which means you can zoom in on the iPad, but leave the monitor showing the whole design. This will save you time zooming in and out while working on the finer details of your design, just by looking up from your work. There you go guys, that's been my latest set of tips for Procreate. Let me know in the comment section below if you found them useful or not. If you know all seven of these, then you are truly a Procreate master, and I salute you.